Hello everyone and happy Read Across America Day. I'm Joe Cobb. I'm honored to serve as the Vice Mayor and a member of the Roanoke City Council. And today I'm going to share with you this amazing book called Out of Wonder, Poems Celebrating Poets. The editor is Kwame Alexander and his co-writers are Chris Holderly and Marjorie Wentworth. And the book is illustrated by Akua Holmes. As I read the story today, we're going to hear a selection of poems written by these writers inspired by other poets. So when I read each poem, I'll tell you which poet inspired each piece. And at the beginning of each section, we'll talk a little bit about the style of poems we're going to hear. So here's the title page for Out of Wonder. And there's a preface that if you're able to get this book from your local library, you can learn more about why this book was written and why poetry is important in our lives. Part one, Got Style? Poets love to make up their own rules about writing. That's what makes it so much fun. The poems in this section pay tribute to the poets being celebrated by adopting their styles and rhythms. This poem is called How to Write a Poem, celebrating Naomi Shiab Nye. Hush, grab a pencil, some paper, spunk. Let loose your heart, raise your voice. What if I have many voices? Let them dance together, twist and turn like best friends in a maze till you find your way to that one true word or two. This poem is by Kwame Alexander. Our second poem in this section is called In Every Season, Celebrating Robert Frost. In every season I have wandered on paths that wind through fields and woods. Beside my farm, marked by low stone walls, strung across the hills like unwound string. Out beyond the pasture and the brook, Bubbling beneath the pines I have walked, on ice through starless winter nights, into the orchard frozen in moonlight. I have stopped to shake the dry snow from the branches and watched the outline of each bare tree sharpen like stone and considered that quite often life is too much like a pathless wood Still I have lived so long and traveled far, and I have climbed these hills and looked at the world and descended. Marjorie Wentworth. This poem is called Snapshots, celebrating Nikki Giovanni. People forget, poetry is not just words on a page. It is a snowflake on your tongue, a tattoo on the inside of your arm, a doshiki and a kaftan, tripping down the streets of Lincoln Heights, shouting from the hills of Knoxville, Tennessee. Poetry is barbecue, cotton candy, purple skin beats from daddy's garden, blues, the Birdland Jazz Club, Sunday morning gospel, chasing justice, freedom. Poetry is remembering the things that matter, the ones you love, when night comes softly, the ripples 
on a Pond by Chris Colderly. Now we come to part two, which is called In Your Shoes. Sometimes our poems sound like they were written by our favorite poets, and that is okay. It's easy to incorporate the feelings and themes of the poets we are reading into our own work, and that's why it's important to read different poets. Using these ideas, we can create our own masterpieces. This poem is called The Music of the Earth, celebrating Pablo Neruda. No matter how far I traveled, across glaciers and snow-covered mountains and roads thick with mud, from one corner of the world to another, through years of war and exile and love, I always returned to the green silence of the Chilean forest where my words linger and accumulate like rocks blurring in the cold rain. I found a place where the wild sea beat against the back of my country, and I stayed on Isla Negra, watching wave upon wave break below my window, while I sat at a table inscribing the language of water, finding new words for salt and starlight, describing how the wind tastes, writing the struggles of my people by Marjorie Wentworth. Loving the world and everything in it, celebrating Mary Oliver. Each day I walk out onto the damp grass before the sun has spoken because I love the world and the miracle of mourning. I love to stand beside the old oak trees, beneath a symphony of birdsong, and listen to every perfect note. While the wind passes around me like a warm sea, sometimes a feather drifts down into my hands. I hold it and imagine flying by Marjorie Wentworth. Part three is called Thank You. A poet's words can affect us in a highly personal way. A poem can sometimes be so powerful that it might even feel as though the poet is speaking directly to us. For our children's children, celebrating Chief Dan George. Greet the new day like a stranger entering it for the first time. Listen to the rivers, the raven's song, the woodpecker's knock, and your beating heart. Walk softly, mind the leaves dancing in shaky hands of an old maple. Let the shadows of drifting clouds warm your cheek and whisper softly, share the earth with all creatures, love them, and they will love you back. By Chris Colderly. This poem is called Spin a Song, celebrating Rumi. Walk out of your room beneath the morning sky. Let the sun enter your heart and find a way to keep it there. Make a song from the light falling through the air and dance even when you are alone. Dance if you are still sad. Dance when you are tired. Dance until your feet lift off the ground like wings. And later when the stars are spinning in the night, Put your ear to the ground and listen to the songs rising up from the earth. Everywhere you go, 
There is Music by Marjorie Wentworth. And our closing poem, what a beautiful image that is, is called Majestic, celebrating Maya Angelou. Rise into the wonder of daybreak. Be a rainbow in the cloud. Be a free bird on the back of the night wind. Shine on, honey. Walk with joy in your golden feet over crystal seas and purpled mountains. Know your beauty is a thunder, your precious heart unsalable. Be brave, like a new seed bursting with extraordinary promise. Shine on, honey. Know you are phenomenal. Kwame Alexander. Thank you all so much for joining me for Read Across America and this beautiful book, Out of Wonder, Poems Celebrating Poets. <laughs>